Hey guys, I'm here with another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing the BAM box. Now I actually didn't um, open up last month's BAM box. Um, I have it here. I could unopen it. Ugh, sorry for the close up. Ugh. Um, I could open both. Um, I'll open last month's um, after I open this month. So if you don't want to look at, watch me open last month's. I already know what's in it, but I'll show you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this month's. Um, I went ahead and cut the tape, and after you cut the tape, so this is the December one. This is what you see. I haven't looked inside yet. I really wanted to, but I did not. Um, on top, uh, the very first thing you see is um, this Legends thing. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to look at that because I don't want to be spoiled. Um, it looks like it has like um, Red Sonia and Darth Vader on the front. So maybe we're going to get Star Wars and something Red Sonia. So the next thing I see is paper. Okay, so the first thing we have in here is a Bambox limited edition pin. Oh, it's Captain America! Woo woo! It's a, well, it's a parody pin. And it says, hey girl. So I like that. I need to come up with a nice way to display some of the cool pins that we've been getting lately. All right, so the next thing I have in the box is this, um, I don't know. Uh, oh, what the heck is this? Um, knives, ninja swords. Okay, Bambox, thanks for giving us legal weapons. First, the bat, batarang, or the, ooh, this thing is sharp. Uh, we'll show you what this looks like. And it's like sharp on both ends, and it's so sharp they put a tip on the front of this. Um, so thank you for, thank you for always sending me legal weapons. Um, we got the Stranger, Th the Stranger Things bat with all the nails in it, and now these knives, and they're really heavy. They're heavy in metal. They come with two. So I love that they put things like this in the box. Thank you for getting back to that. All right, so the next thing that we have in here, when I look at it, the first thing I see is this. That's how they put it in the box. And then, boom. Okay, Vader down. Now, I do have an issue with this because I feel like every subscription box has done this comic, has done Vader down. I want to say that I have maybe now four different variant covers, maybe even five of this particular comic, number one, the Vader Down uh, comic book. So why that's a cool cover and all, it's not something that I'm going over the moon for. So the next thing we have another is a certificate of authenticity and it is Red Sonia. No, that is really cool. I don't have any. Ooh, and it's number zero. What the heck? That is really cool. And she looks like an epically, like a really big badass right there. Although she should probably be wearing more than more armor than that. I mean, come on. We have all the scrapes and scraps because you're not wearing enough clothes. So that's very cool. There's actually quite a bit in this box. I mean, that was already one, two, three items, and there's still two more items in the box. So next thing we see, holy shit. This has got to be one of the coolest prints that BAM box has ever done. It's like Samurai Boba Fett. Warrior Boba Fett. That is crazy. Um, we got number 351 of 2000, so I know we didn't get a special one because I think the special ones are usually out of 500, but I don't even care. That is that is amazing. That is, um, I love that. I'm, I'm gonna say that's amazing 50 times over, but that's really cool. Okay, so the last thing we have in the box is an autograph, and I'm sorry, I don't know this chick's name, or this guy's name. I don't know if it's the chick or the guy that signed it. I 
don't know. But I think this is from the DC's Legends of Tomorrow. But I have no idea who that is. But I mean, seriously. I mean, if you guys are literally bitching about the band box, please tell me what other company that you get autographs every month and things that are only catered for their box. Stop your bitching. All right. This box is actually really cool. Um, if you can see the inside of it, I love how they did it. Like here's Skeletor and Spider-Man. And it looks like it is um, Jack Nicholson as the Joker, which is an amazing Joker. And then you have um, Splinter and Pizza. And it's just really cool. It's a cool box. So that was December's Bam Box. I definitely give this one a solid... 9 out of 10. This was a pretty decent box and what I'm used to with the band box. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got in November's band box if you guys want to see that. Um, like I said, if not, if you just wanted to see my December's. Thanks for watching. I'm Cat D. Peace. If so, then uno momento. Okay, so November's band box. It is the smallest band box that we have ever gotten on the face of the planet. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, well, there's probably no cool bat with nails in it or a hat or I didn't win a signed Jason mask. Um, I don't know if they're getting away from the one up because I haven't seen the one up um, or the, you know, I really loved that concept. The fact that there was four different things that have could have been. Um, like one up or replaced in a different item that's worth more was put into your box like all that stuff was I mean that's really what made the box like exciting and I don't know if they took that away or not but if they have I hope they bring it back because regardless of people getting upset whether or not they got a one up or not they're going to continue to buy the box because they want the ability to get those limited items and I, and, and seeing that one up in your card, in your box, before you see the item just makes it even more exciting. So, um, after you cut the tape on your box, usually this is what you're going to see. The black paper. <clears throat> Boom. Oh, before I do this, I'm going to go back to this book in here. Um... Uh, the, the December book, and I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I want to show you what you could have gotten, so. Um, oh, wow, damn it! I didn't get the limited edition. Oh, I guess they do still have some one-ups. They just don't give you the, the card in the box. You could have gotten, these are the special pens right here. These are four that you could have gotten. And then um, the Vader down, and I guess there was only 5,000 made in black and white. I guess they might have it. They must have a ton of subscribers now. It makes it hard. Start your own legend set. And it looks like there is two or three different types of knives or swords you could get. And this is what's really cool. Um, Brian Reedy. Reedy is a Miami based artist who specializes in wood and lino block prints. And um, he did this uh, Boba Fett. Or this, it's called a galactic samurai, but it, it looks like Boba Fett in the face to me with the coloring and everything. It's just a galactic samurai. Um, and there was two that were black and white variations, but I'm really glad I got the one that I did. And I can show you that one is holding the sword to his side. I love this one. This is the one I got right here. Um, next month is anniversary. So January is going to be the anniversary box. Um, don't miss the most epic band box yet. We are celebrating our one year anniversary. And to say thank you to everyone, we are going to bring back some of your favorite items and artists. This month's prints will feed your favorite artists from Rocky Davies and Chris Uminga. The one of a kind animations will make our appearance in this box. But this is this time it's actual sales from varying shows. We have some other items going in as well that we're really excited about. Oh, and I almost forgot we had a couple of people, really special studio quality hockey masks made just for this box to be signed. I think it is safe to say that the item everyone loved the most over the last year was the Ari Lehman signed hockey mask. Yes, it is. Is it impossible to improve on this item? You'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, you can send me that, please. Thank you. And then we got the Red Sonia number zero, signed by the writer, Amy Chu. And then Sarah Gray is Stargirl's name from DC's Legends of Tomorrow. And there's a giveaway going on that you could win um, Aragon, uh, his... Win a license and authentically detailed reproduction, reproduction of Andoril, the actual prop sword built by Weta Workshop of New Zealand and used by Aragon. So you could win the sword. That's very cool. So, okay. Now, back to this tiny box. All right. So, um, first thing in the box that you're going to see, um, and this month's theme for November was adult cartoon. Which is not my thing anyway, but there we go. The first thing we got is a Betty Boop signed comic. And I actually really like Betty Boop, so I actually really love that. I dig it. And I think it's really cool that they got the band box there, like on the on the cover. Um, the next thing in we have here is a really scary rendition of Homer Simpson that says crazy people are more fun. Band box loves metal shit. So this is metal. It's a metal sign, but it'll look good in our room. I, I cannot wait till I completely cover the walls in our game room. All right, so the next thing I got in here, um, actually, I got two pins, and I guess there were several pins you could get. I'll go through the book afterwards, but I got Kenny Alive and Kenny Dead. So I guess not everyone got these, and I'm really glad that I did. All right, so the next thing here in the box is this one I really loved. This is like Beavis and Butthead and Rick and Morty. And this, like, not that I was a huge fan of Beavis and Butthead, but it definitely was big when I was younger. Like, if I was watching that, I felt like I was going to get in trouble because I wasn't allowed to watch it, and I used to sneak and watch it, and I didn't understand all the adult jokes. But there's that. That's really cool. My husband loves this print. And the next thing in the box I really, really like. This is a cosplayer that dressed up like Jessica Rabbit. And I love Jessica Rabbit. I have a huge Jessica Rabbit statue that sits right there. And um, that was a gift a long time ago. But she's just beautiful as a cartoon. And this girl really pulls it off. She's beautiful too. So... That was the last thing in the box. I think it's really cool to get like cosplay auto like professional cosplayers that dress up like characters that we like love. So that was November's band box. I'm gonna go through the catalog with you. Okay, let's see what everyone was so pissed off about. I thought this box was good. All right, so um, the very first one is everyone got a pen, and you you could either get um, Cartman the chef, or if you got uh, Kenny alive, you got Kenny dead, and it says Kenny dead is rare. So I got something rare, which that's epically amazing. And then everyone got this Homer Simpson metal sign. Nothing special about that. Everyone got um, the Jessica Rabbit, and everyone got the Betty Boop. Some people got the black and white copy cover variant. Then you either got Beavis and Butt Head Attack Rick and Morty or Bob's Cronenburgers. I'm glad I got the one that I got, just because I like Bob's Burgers, but that's a that's that's not my type of print right there. And then. Um, Oh, oh, oh man, a randomly inserted celebrity photo, um, formerly an instant winner. Um, I didn't get that this time. This looks like it was Bender. Um, so it was J John DiMaggio, who is the voice of Bender. Um, so yeah, so there was that. That was November's band box and December's band box. Let me know what you thought down below. Um, I like both boxes, band box. Um, I'm kind, I'm grandfathered into their uh, old pricing because I've been with them, I think, now for 10 months. 
11 months because of no because next month's are one year so I missed one box so I'll continue with the band box um, I mean and I, I don't see any reason I wouldn't continue uh, but yeah so that's the band box I'm Kat you guys like comment and subscribe